Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you something really cool, how to make a sticky navigation bar, like so. So as you can see, we have our picture at the top here, we have our header, and then we have the content of our page. When we scroll down, the picture stays at the top, but the header follows us with the rest of the page. Let's get to it, shall we? Alrighty, so back here in CodePen, we're just going to start with creating three basic areas top container, the header, and the content. So let's get started setting up our page here. We create our head and meta tags. We'll set our viewport width here. And since we're in CodePen, we don't have to link to any external style sheets or any external JavaScript files. But if we were going to do that, we would place those tags in the head of our document here. So to create our body, we'll start off making the top container right inside our body tag. So we're going to make a div and give it a class of top container. The only thing we're going to put in this top container is an h1 tag. And then we'll close it right up. And then below that, we'll make our header. So we're going to make a div give it a class of header and an ID of my header. Then here, we're going to put an H2 tag. We're going to call this my header. And then we'll just close it up. Now underneath this tag is where we're going to put the content of our page. We just need a little bit of text so we're able to scroll down. So we'll make another div and give it a class of content. And then we'll just close it up here. And I'm going to just copy and paste some text that I already have here. Pretty much a few paragraph tags and a heading. So let's go ahead and Throw that right in there. Let's make sure we have plenty, plenty of stuff to scroll here. All right. Well, once we have that, we're just about done with our HTML. Don't forget to close up your body tag and your HTML tag. And now we can start working on the CSS. So in CodePen, we'll come down to our CSS editor here. And we'll just start by styling the body with a margin of zero. And we'll set the font family. That's all we need to style for the body element. And we'll target our h1 tags here, and we'll just make them white, and we'll give them a little bit of a text shadow as well, just something to add character here, I think black, one pick by five, with a blur of 12, and then we'll start uh, styling our top container here with a background image. Something cool. I like that beach pick that I had found. So I'll go ahead and grab the address for that here. And then to set it as the background image, all we're going to do is put it inside of a URL here. And we have one too many quotes there. There we go. And then we'll close that up. 
And we'll just give it a little bit of padding as well. And we'll align the text to the center. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So after that, we'll start styling our header, which is the my header area right here. To do that, we'll just target the class header. And I think we'll give it some padding first. Let's see, I, I like to use the rem units. Um, just, just about for everything. Keeps everything working smoothly together. Let's see, I'll set the background to, it's a dark color. Two, 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 I believe that should be, yeah, it's a dark gray. And then we'll make the text in here white. So we'll go back to the FFF there. That should make our text white. And then I think we could add a little depth to this this uh, header here by giving it just a little bit of a, a box shadow. So to do that, we say box shadow, black, So the first figure is the that is the horizontal offset there. The second figure, so that's going to be the vertical offset here. So if you see, if I raise the figure from five pixels to ten pixels, the shadow goes down. If I raise it to fifteen, it goes down a little a little more as well. Let me keep it at five. And then the last number here is just the blur. So if I raise it to twenty-two, we'll see it gets a little more blurry. So let me keep it right about twelve there. And we'll move on to styling the next element, which is just going to be the content of the page. So pretty much for the text on the page, we don't really need too much styling. Maybe just a little padding to keep it off of the edge of the page. There we go. And let's see. So here we'll style the um, the sticky the sticky class, which is pretty much just a class that we're going to add via JavaScript, so that this navigation bar, this header, stays put. So we're going to create that class here. Uh, it's just going to be called sticky, and we're going to give that a position of fixed, top position of zero, and a width of 100%. So this way, it stays put at the top of the page, and it's 100% the width of its parent container. And then we'll go ahead and we'll just give some uh, additional padding to the, uh, the top of the, the sticky and the content classes here. A padding top and you'll see why we have to do that in a second here after we start working on the JavaScript so as you can see right now pretty much we just have our page set up it's all styled now we just need to make that header stick to the top when we scroll down so all we're gonna do for that is we're gonna make a on scroll function here with JavaScript so we're gonna say window dot on scroll and then we'll create our function here and I'll just call it my function. And we'll create two variables, one for the header. And then we'll select it by the ID, document.get element by ID. And the ID in this case is my header. For our second variable will be the, we'll just call it sticky here. And this is going to be the, the header. We're going to target the offset of the header. So that's going to be header dot offset top. And then we'll create our function. Right under here, we'll create my function. So my function, for this, we're just going to make it a simple if else statement if where past the, um, the, uh, the height of the header here, the, uh, the sticky, sticky class, and we'll add, we'll add the sticky class. And if we're not, if we're at the top, then we'll remove the sticky class. So we want it to turn on right about here, right once we're past the header. So we'll say, if window page y offset, greater than sticky then header class list dot add and we'll just 
add that class that we created, that sticky class. And then we'll go here and make our else. So else header dot class list dot remove sticky. So we'll remove the sticky class here. Don't forget your little semicolon there. And there we go. As you can see, our header is now sticky. When we start scrolling, it will attach to the top as we move down the page. And once we reach the top of the page again, it'll go back to where it was. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. And if you did, it would really help me out if you dropped a like, maybe a comment, or even a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.